Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new here, my name is Lita and on my channel I like to talk about all things journals, sketchbooks, and stationery. So let's jump right into it. Today I'm doing a little face to face with you because um, actually because I have a pet peeve about when people spend like four minutes with their hands emoting and no action happening. So I have three things that I want to talk about today that I'm going to be doing in video and let's get right into it. So first thing I'm going to be doing is a mid-year transition. I have a B6 Stalogy and it is pretty much done. It's cooked, it's baked, it's done. So uh, I'm going to be transitioning out of B6, which is what I have been loving, into back into, because I used to, I started out in A5. I'm coming back into an A5. So as part of One Book July, which is the second thing I'm going to be kind of covering in this video, is not only is it that I'm moving back into an A5, but I'm checking out the half year edition. So I don't expect this book to last me through the end of the year. Um, if it actually landed, it lasted me through the end of September, I'd be surprised because part of what I'm doing in One Book July, which I will discuss with you when we get to that point, it's going to take up a lot of pages so I'm thinking maybe even September is as far as this will go but so I'm going to be also talking about one book July in my setup in here and discussing that and um, yeah and then the third thing is just that is my July setup my actual July monthly setup which I have to say I am pretty excited about uh, I hope you like it um, and on that note I'm gonna turn this thing around and go down so that you can get a view of what's going on. Um, I might change location too because my mom is sleeping and I may have already woken her up but I'll go over into my desk work area, art area, sewing area. <laughs> hey if you're ever interested in seeing those areas of my house, my sewing, art, and work desk, uh, leave me a comment down below and I will try to find the courage to make that happen. Okay, see you in a minute down below. Hey everyone, okay, so I'm back here with you and I am now at my work desk. Uh, and I miraculously did not manage to wake my mother up with my loud voice earlier. So let's jump right into it. Um, transitioning from my B6 Stalogy into an A5 half year edition. So, um, I did try the other day, I was going to, oh, eventually it's going to go into this cover from Chic Sparrow. I was in a Waypoint, which I love, Quiet, is it Quiet Tan? I think this is a Quiet Tan. Anyway, I'm going to be going into this cover. I was really hoping that I would have a, an Alice um, cover, folio cover from Chic Sparrow, but they are in such high demand as they've just come out that I can't get one. I have this lovely... Madrid um, A5 folio. It's from their Hemingway collection where they darken out the edges. So when I'm all done setting it up, I will put it in here. I've actually had this for since last year and I think July or August, so it's been a year, and never used it um, because I ended up going B6 and loving it um, eventually. So I went from, well, you can see, I, I'll put a card up here and you can see my old One Book July video, which should give you a good laugh because my amateurishness. So, um, and I'm still amateur, so you can keep laughing. <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm sorry, all this talking. Um, so I have this A5. Some people like to decorate this with washi tape, but because I like to put mine inside a folio, you can see how, um, that would be kind of like a waste of time and effort. Sorry for my struggles, I'm a bit clumsy here. Okay, fits good. 
So you can see how why that would be. I put the back in there on the back side too, but that would be kind of a waste of time. So um, I'm not going to be doing anything like that, although I think it's very cool when other people do it, and I am a big lover of washi tips. I'll put this aside until I'm all done with my work in here and ready to get going with it. So, um, like I said, this is I got this in the, the Stelogy A5 Half Year Edition in the blue. This is a new thing they're trying out, and I'm trying it out with them. So what I used to do once upon a time is every month I used to have at the beginning of the month, I used to have a pocket on one side and then usually a quote on the other side or, and then I used to do two page calendar spread. And when I got into this B6 Stalogy, I did at that time, I what I ended up doing was stopped doing a calendar a pocket inside every month and instead what I did is I put it on this first page on the inside on the gray part and it worked out pretty good for me so all I did was I literally removed the pocket this is the same vellum pocket and I put new different types of washi tape and my decorations that I have in the back here I just picked out new cards and I just slip them right in there and they stay pretty good. So, um, yeah, this is just like a little envelope, like a glassine envelope that I got. I want to say our atelier, which I can put a card up here to the hall where this was like a washi sticker, like masking tape type stickers that I got that were coffee. As a matter of fact, one of them is in here. And I have it closed with my little bicycle washi tape. So yeah, there's this little stickers in here. But I had these that came in there and I just recycled because I love to upcycle. It's not really recycling. When you use something and you find a new use for it and it doesn't take any energy consumption, that's upcycling. Just in case you wanted to know that. Okay, so um, yeah, I just made this little pocket and I will glue this down more firmly in there and it'll stay fine like it has in the past so as part of my transition I did want to make uh, some new pages and I love uh, Robin's Egg Blue uh, that's the Tiffany box color and Tiffany is I love Tiffany I lived in New York City I love Tiffany not just because I lived in New York City it's just like I've that's my brand that's I like them I love silver over um, gold jewelry so this is actually like a copy of what one of their keychains are. These little balls come off and you can slide your keys on there. But instead of please return to Tiffany, it says please return to Lita. And then off camera when we're done with this, I will be writing down my address and pencil down here and uh, with a phone number so that in case for some crazy reason I manage to somehow leave this somewhere, there's a chance someone may return it to me. Um, I did use an index in my b6 and i for the first time ever actually really used it in the past i've had indexes and i didn't use it so this time i used it and i numbered my pages i just numbered them on one side down in the corner here and i use the index and i like it because i think if i want to refer back to things i can go in here and um get the like you know later in the future like a year or two years from now I'll be able to get an idea of where things are and flip through and find it right away so um, I did create the index pages I did create a dock grid sheet and I put for myself on there a little cheat about horizontal and vertical like how many there are and how many and then I did like thirds and half and I did um, half and quarter and thirds here and just numbered it out um, I might add on to here also my key, although I do know what I usually use. I um, have been thinking about modifying my key just a little bit, so I may add that con uh, information into here. Also, I had, do I have this little stickers here on my desk? Let me take a look for a second. I have a lot of different little supplies. No. Okay, so this is actually a post-it note that was gray that I had bought at Kino Kunia. So I just took um, one of my Tombows and I painted, colored. 
I colored over it and then I took my uh, jelly roll and outlined and kind of like okay for you folks you young people who don't know this is an old-fashioned rotary phone <laughs> <laughs> and so what they how the rotary phone would work is this part on top was the ear hand piece and you would lift that up and you would put it up to your ear and you would listen for the dial tone it was connected with this little cord to the body of the phone that has the rotary dial on it so you would pick this up put it to your ear listen for the dial tone and then you would dial the phone number which by the way back then we memorized phone numbers and way back in the day we didn't even have to put area codes i think once upon a time that that might be like a little early like i don't and then at one point it was like area codes was like a long distance thing where you did one three oh five da 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 uh, 305 is a Miami area code phone number by the way but so this is going to be my contacts page so I put this here and I made like the squiggly line that connected the body to the phone and wrote contacts and I will be writing my contacts information down here like my emergency my family um, immediate family people that should people find me unconscious for some reason <laughs> And they could look in here and know that this person is a family member or that they are an emergency contact. And then I also plan to put things like my doctor and um, my best friend. Just some very few, maybe seven or eight numbers and information here at the most. But not too much because you got to realize if you do lose your book, this is like stuff that... That's why don't use people's like middle names and all this other type of stuff and don't put their, you know, because then people can get your passwords like that. So think about those things. Just write enough so that they have their name and they have their phone number, how to contact them. I'm not going to put in here an address, I don't think. Um, maybe only for my daughters because I don't use them in any password information so that I can mail them stuff in case I don't have the information on me. Um, I did a future log here uh, and my year at a glance. This is going to be future log. This is year at a glance. So part of One Book July, what I really want to focus on is I want to imp do more self-care. I need to take care of myself. I'm taking care of my mother and um, I think it's so easy that when we start taking care of other people that we lose track of taking care of ourselves. So uh, I have lost track of taking care of myself and I'm suffering for it. I'm actually experiencing some higher level of chronic pain than I'm used to. Um, I've always had a bit of chronic pain. It's been for quite a number of years from um, accidents that have happened to me. Uh, not because of me, but because of other people's carelessness. But so um, I have some chronic pain and it's been increasing and my weight has been increasing. So I made this space for uh, weight because I want to get fit again and I'm going to be making some goals uh, each month small goals uh, that I'll be filling in in here and um, this was just a little thing I seen maybe on Pinterest or something and I just adapted it to myself I wonder if you can see that little gold shimmering where it says sweat I don't know well I hope you can but anyway so I did a little art and this um, did not bleed through it ghosted through but I think I pressed kind of hard so what I did was I took a photo this is actually a picture of my cello and that I had written this you know with whatever app keep calm and play cello so I uh, printed this out and put it on this page because how like I said it did not bleed through but it just was like really um, you know I, I was must have been pressing heavy so um, this is where I'm going to be keeping a log about I, I am practicing I'm learning to play the cello I'm an adult beginner celloist cellist adult beginner cellist but uh in case i if i buy a new bow where i buy it from where i've ordered if it's arrived uh if i send off anything for repair work like to get my bow rebowed for example also i have some other instruments uh, i have my father's uh violin i played the violin for a little bit when i was a young child uh, so anyway, it's just, you know, musical information. Also, I may even write in here. It's possible that I'll transfer over uh, when I finish uh, learning a new piece. I may write and date in here. But anyway, musical notes. 
I thought that was cute. Get it? Musical notes. Anyway. <laughs> so that is kind of it. I, I wanted to do more related to self-care stuff, but I let it go because honestly, I was really kind of struggling with my setup this month. I think I just got overwhelmed with the idea that it was transitioning from one book to the other. Uh, that it was also, I wanted to participate in One Book July and the anxiety is real about moving from a B6 to an A5. Um, and just, I don't know, somehow it's I, the perfectionism. I got overwhelmed. I tried to tape this earlier and I totally did a terrible job on this. This was sketched out beautifully and then it didn't work out so well in the end. I was disappointed how it came out and so I stopped videotaping because I was putting so much pressure on myself that I think this, okay, this is what it is, is it eyesight related because I'm older and I don't know how you young people do it, but I need to be closer up to watch my head I need to be I need to be like this <laughs> and looking at my stuff and I need a brighter light because this grid is a four millimeter it's much smaller I know that one little millimeter is makes a difference I can't wait to glue this down so this is an old washi tape and also it's been lifted up a number of times so it's losing its stickiness okay I digress so anyway so I stopped filming at one point because I was like this is not working so I just you know left it simple I have these are the few pages what I have to transition over uh, this was really one of the few things that what I added was this and did I have a grid before my contacts I didn't have a contacts before and I thought about how I kind of did need that that there were times where I didn't have that on my phone or if my phone was dead for some reason so I added that and this I wanted to add because of self-care for me playing music being involved with my music is part of my self-care um, with the weight there's going to be stuff that comes in the monthly things that are um, going to be more self-care so you'll see as July comes along uh, that it is going to be more self-care so let's jump right into that the next thing I'm gonna is my July spread. Yes, I love Frida Kahlo, I do. And I found this image um, on the net and what actually happened is, let me see if I can find some of these other ones to show you, is um, that my printer, the ink was no bueno and it's doing this thing. Here's another Frida picture. Okay, here, or this one that it's doing this thing where it's creating these lines and I don't know if it's because it's that it's out of an ink or it needs to be uh you know reset adjusted whatever calibrated is probably probably the right word but when I saw it I thought oh no this is perfect I what I chose to do is as you can see is I actually cut it right down where those lines are and I made it like a window panes um and then I took one of her, part of one of her quotes, that I am my own muse. And I do kind of feel like that way at times. So this is the beginning of July and Frida Kahlo, uh, my best friend knows that sometimes that's what I say. I say, I'm channeling my inner Frida. It's, um, she's a, a artistic wise and just cultural wise, her points are, you know, a political somewhat wise don't don't give me hate comments because I know she was a communist I'm not a communist <laughs> if you're a communist I'm well I'm not yeah I don't I'm not a fan of communism but that's I don't want to get into political things <laughs> um, anyway I love Frida Kahlo I, I love a lot of things about her and uh, she had a, a broken body and she did not allow that to stop it uh, from being her full meeting her full potential i guess i would say so i i love her she lived with chronic pain and she did pretty darn good oh so here i left a little piece to finish off as a project so for july here's my calendar but i used to do this in the past where i would um in the past i said i wanted to involve more self-care in the month so in the past i've used it where my calendar is not necessarily for appointments but uh, I like to take the boxes and then you know, what I'll do is I will say 
today is going to be a great day too. So let's, uh, here's a little thing of La Casa Azul that I pulled out and somewhere, here it is. And this is just from when I was cutting it, I had this little part that was left over. And so I just used the white side of this and I'm gonna put that down right in here. Yes, right in the house. So today is going to be a great day, dot, dot, dot. And then I will write what's gonna be, like in the past, sometimes I would write, I know when I lived in New York, I wrote today's gonna be a great day to call my mom. Today's gonna be a great day to um, tell my friend how much I appreciate her, you know, something like that. Now I leave this over here that um, this can be for appointments if I want to, to write in into the month. Um, that's what that's gonna be about up there. So that's how I'm gonna use my July calendar. And I always have to have a calendar. I must have a calendar. And the reason for that is because I never know what day it is. I can't remember, is today the first? Is today, no, actually, you know, is today the Tuesday? What, what is today? I get lost all the time. I gotta have a calendar every month of my life. So I'm gonna use this as part of self-care because I believe telling ourselves positive messages is important. So telling myself how I'm gonna make today great is gonna be good. And I'm going to double up on that with, this is gonna be, instead of my mood tracker, this is gonna be kind of like my affirmations. And what I've done is I've written I am, and I just took, um, again, I took like one of my Tombos. I took a darker Tombow. Yeah, I did. I took my darker Tombow and I went and I made a circle. And then I took my lighter Tombow and I just kind of went on on the inside a little bit. And I wrote um, with my little stamping kit, my recollections stamps i wrote i am and then what i'll do is i have 31 here and I, this is written in pencil and i'll just erase it and out here like sunbeams in blue pen this is my le pen in um, fluorescent blue i will write i have another one too i think this one is just light blue yeah this one is light blue and they look very similar so um i'll just write out here i am beautiful I am kind, you know, those type of things, those affirmations. And here I did the same thing. I just, I just like, I love Frida. So she inspires me and I am looking for some inspiration because when you're trying to improve your wellness, your mental and physical wellness, you need a bit of inspiration and she inspires me. So having pictures of her um, and things that remind me of her, like the Casa Azul, um, which, by the way, is my favorite color, is blue, light blue. I remember when I was 13 years old, my mom bought our first house in Florida was sky blue. I told her that was my favorite color. And um, I can't remember if we painted it sky blue or if we bought it that way. But anyway, so I've always loved blue. So uh, I have a picture of her. Now this is kind of incomplete and I'm not 100% sure. It's not finished. I'm not going to finish it with you today. But basically I had this tape that I've had forever in a day that I bought from the 33 cent bin at Marshall's. Uh, I'm sorry, at Michael's, not Marshall's. And I just wanted to use it because I never get to use it. So there's 31 days in this month. So I put it across the top, but this does not match up perfectly with the four millimeter grid in the A5. So I just went in with a ruler and I kind of went down with the days. And if you've never seen anyone do this before, all I do is when I make these lines, if you may have noticed throughout my book, how I get the lines to be somewhat straight is I put it towards me and I move my arm in a straight line, just like that. And I let go of the perfectionism on that. So I alternate it and um, yeah. I mean, I will probably add a little tracker for YouTube down here, and that may be about it. But that's how I did this line. It's the same thing, just going down, down, down towards me. Because you just move your hand just like that right down the page. 
right down the page. Okay, so we're getting close towards the last. This one, I think I'll stop talking for a minute and what I will do is this will be a little bit of a journal with me. I'm not sure you can make that out, but this is kind of, um, this is like a, a self-portrait. Um, this is like me, self-portrait without quite as much curly hair. But uh, what I would like to do is to finish drawing it out and stamping it out with you. And this is going to be what used to be my hustle, what some people call a brain dump, what um, I have sometimes called my carpe diem, seize the day. But instead, I'm going to be putting a little quote up here that says, uh, I paint flowers so they will not die. And that's kind of going along with my self-care theme. Um, I paint flowers so they'll not die. I'm not sure if you get that, how that's self-care, but <laughs> for me, it kind of is. It's, um, yeah, I have to think about it to explain that more deeply. So I'm gonna be quiet for a minute and I'm gonna draw this out. Okay, let's get to it. Okay. 